Right, so I just want to say a big thank you to Steve for joining us um, tonight for this amazing webinar. You guys are going to learn how to create a compelling quiz to attract thousands of quality leads into your coaching business. And Steve is the expert to be telling you about this because um, Steve has been creating quizzes for the likes of Shah Wismond and also the Coaching Academy with amazing success. Um, and um, also, I just think that um, your company in general, Steve, is like doing really interesting things as far as lead generation and systems and tech. Um, and so I, I'm like really excited to have you here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of give you the floor, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds good. Let you, let you take, take this away. So um, if you want to introduce yourself and just go ahead, that would be amazing. Sounds very good. Well, thank you for having me, Shelley. Uh, yeah, really nice to be here and speak to your, your audience. So, so thank you. Um, yeah, so just very quickly, I guess, a little bit about myself. Obviously, uh, those who've been listening to our conversation or, or, or Tim, uh, who's also from Australia, you can tell that, uh, yes, I am from Australia. I came uh, here to London about four years ago. I first started getting into the digital space when I was 16, when I started my, my first web design business. Uh, sort of as a side hustle through uh, high school and then through university where I then took it full time after that and uh, had some some nice success with it while I traveled the world <laughs> doing the whole uh, freelancer sort of thing uh, around the globe which was a lot of fun and, and but always always had my eye on different things when it comes to online marketing and, and different ways to um, ultimately attract and help people to create trust online which is Something that uh, obviously happens face to face really easily. You can go and you can meet somebody, you can, you can create that sort of trust and rapport, but when it comes to the online world, it's always a lot harder. So it's something I used to um, sort of specialize in, even in university, I did a thesis on this and then really got into it in a, in a big way uh, when creating my own company. And uh, I've been doing that for about 10 years or so uh, ever since. So that's me and it brings us up into, uh, only recently when I started to get into the whole idea of quizzes, which we'll get to soon. But um, so yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me. Uh, but the real reason why we're here today uh, and why yourself, Shelley, has got me on it is to talk about leads and lead magnets and how to generate leads ultimately for coaches or maybe you're a consultant or a trainer or a mentor or however you describe yourself. Um, around the whole idea of a coach because that's really what uh, this webinar is all about and, and really the, the area that we specialize in. Um, now, did you want me to, Shelley, do you want me to just stop my video as well? I know. Um, it's actually working quite well on the screen. So okay. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to slightly move us to the corner so that we're not going in front of your slides. But yeah, no, no I think actually keep, keep your video on. It's great. Yeah, cool. No, uh, for those listening, we're just making sure that it's uh, going to look okay for the replay as well. So, uh, what is a lead magnet? Now, Charlie, this this particular webinar is almost like a lead magnet mm -hmm. for yourself, isn't it? In a way, um, for those who don't know what a lead magnet is, basically, uh, I'm sure you've all come across them before. Different ways to ultimately try to get somebody's name and email address so you can capture their details and put it onto your database. Uh, and ultimately then try to, to nurture them and lead them, uh, which is then into the end goal, which is ultimately to, to sort of convert them into a sale. Now, a lot of different lead magnets that uh, have existed in the past tend to be things like giving away a free report about something, uh, maybe it's a free ebook. Um, free webinar like this one, a whole, whole range of different things where you basically exchange your name and your email, sometimes just email, sometimes a little bit more, uh, but ultimately exchange your details um, for something. Now, lead magnets, uh, predominantly they, a few years ago, uh, started off really well and free reports and things like that started to be quite the trend uh, and then it sort of started to move into, let's try to give away like a free ebook. Uh, and things like that. But a big problem with that was always, particularly when it comes to such something like an ebook, uh, one, it takes a lot of energy and effort to, to create something like that. Um, and good on everyone who, who would do that. And I, I completely think as a coach, it's fantastic to always have a book, don't get me wrong. But um, a, pro a big problem with an ebook, apart from 
it can take a, a sort of a big chunk of energy to give it away for free. Um, most people who sort of opt in for your ebook, uh, chances are sort of 99% of them will never read it. Now, that's fine if you just want a name and email address. But if you want people to start to understand a little bit more about you, if you want to start to warm them up a little bit more, and if you want to start creating a little bit of trust uh, in uh, with that person, if they don't read anything about you or what you have to, to say or do, um, they don't get any closer to actually becoming a client of yours, um, apart from the fact that you have their, their email. So it says here, uh, why a quiz? Um, ultimately, we could probably all, all agree here. Uh, I heard a couple of people uh, in the comments earlier even say that they just love quizzes. As human beings, we all love quizzes. Uh, it's sort of part of our psyche where we just love to learn more about ourselves that way. Um, it's always a bit of fun. Uh, and so we love to fill them in and we love to, to get the answer and know what the answer is. So when it comes to using a, a quiz as a lead magnet, which is something that we only started exploring about 12 months ago, um, we started to find really quickly that quizzes had a couple of um, incredibly powerful benefits to them. One was that people really wanted to, um, to fill it in and to go through the whole, whole process and to click on every single sort of slide. Um, but the other part was that, that they were actually reading and they were actually, um, because it, quizzes tend to be so quick, um, but you get to get your point across really quickly, people got to understand more about who you are, what you do, what you uniquely offer in a really quick manner um, and would end up opting in uh, becoming a lead for you, but at the same time, they would warm themselves up and become uh, sort of more trusting of you and, and really understanding what you have to offer, particularly as a coach, because it's quite often hard to explain um, exactly what you do as a coach all the time, because you have all this unique knowledge and wisdom um, that you portray. And there's, you know, these days, there's, there's so much noise going on out there. Um, as you know, Shelley, mm -hmm, uh, there's definitely. all these different like things on YouTube. You can learn this, you can get that for free, this, that, and the other. Uh, and to get past all that noise is, is quite a, um, an achievement in itself. So um, that's really, I guess, going on to the second point about the purpose and power and why it works so well. I mean, we started to see right away um, some, some immediate results from different coaches that we're working with who Back then, it was very much a, a rudimentary sort of quiz um, that we sort of just threw together. Uh, one lady, for example, um, Emma Hammett from First Day for Life, um, she is a trainer, so she uh, in the first day sort of space, and she was the first one of the first person of uh, people to uh, sort of come to me and say, "Hey, could you do a quiz for me?" Um, and within about six months she had around sort of 8,000 or so people filling her quiz, um, which was amazing. It's now been about 12 months since she's had well over 20,000 people uh, who have seen her quiz on Facebook, uh, on her website, wherever it might be, uh, fill it in uh, and have now opted into her world. And that is, um, has absolutely transformed her business completely, 100% because um, she's now got 20,000 plus leads that she continues to nurture um, and sell to and, and do all sorts of things with. It's amazing. Um, and she's uh, absolutely wrapped, as you can imagine. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just means that she now has um, all these people into her database and she's had a, a massive return on investment from this. Uh, so it, it's been absolutely incredible. and. She, although she's probably been with us the longest, um, it's not that abnormal, the type of results she's had. So, um, Shelley, you mentioned earlier that, yes, we've worked with like Shah Wasman, we've worked with um, Coaching Academy and things like that. People like Shah and the Coaching Academy, uh, they're seeing conversion rates of around sort of 30 to 35%, which is absolutely huge when it comes to a quiz. Yeah, like, I don't know about you, Shelley, but any of my past sort of lead magnets that I've tried of a free report or a free ebook, I've been lucky to get sort of five to 10% conversion rate. 
Um, I don't know what you've seen, Shelley, but... (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you know, I was just going to say... that I think, you know, I think, um, I think one of the other things with lead magnets um, that that became an issue was how expensive it was getting to promote webinars um, on Facebook. And this is the advantage of a quiz is it's actually a lot cheaper. And so not only are you getting tons of leads, like you're seeing like the 18,000 that the lead from first aid for life has, has received in the last year, but you're getting them cheaply. Yep. Um, and to put this in context, you know, a mailing list of 18,000, you know, that can keep you, that can set you up for life. <laughs> I mean, you know, I only have maybe 8,000 on my list and that I've cut down to 5,000 who are still engaged, you know, at some level. Um, and, you know, and, and that is, you know, I, you know, I haven't done that much lead generation to expand that list for about a year and I'm still gaining clients from it. You know, yeah. that, to put that in context, basically, for everyone that's listening, um, you know, that, that 18,000 leads, um, 18,000 emails and an email address, um, e- email addresses in your mailing list, that is, that is very, very significant. Yeah. And, you know, it can be huge revenue for a company, it can really, really set them up. Yeah, absolutely right. And just to, to add to that point about it, it costing less, um, I think one of the, the, the big reasons why a quiz will cost so much less than um, a lot of the other things going on in, on Facebook ads or wherever you might be marketing um, is just because at the end of the quiz or whatever people might do, uh, people like to share their results. They like to say, hey, yeah, I just, I just got really high, I've just got really low, whatever it might be. Uh, and that's something that uh, Facebook, for example, their algorithm really, really loves and when people comment on an ad or, or shares their results or whatever it might be, uh, and that really brings the cost down. For example, um, the first aid for life, uh, her sort of advertising spend ended up being about 42 pence per wow. conversion. Uh, wow. That's not per click. It was only like seven cents per click or something ridiculously wow. low. Um, yeah, which is, which is incredible. Absolutely that's incredible. That's amazing. Like, and I'm not saying that every single person gets that exact same results because I but that is something that's obviously very possible um the other thing to consider with it with a quiz like and trying to bring leads like like you were saying Shelley into your database like obviously she has now 18 20 plus thousand people in a database which is fantastic but you might be a coach or somebody who just goes well actually it I don't really need that many leads, <laughs> um, which is which is completely cool. And we have a lot of coaches who have used quizzes really successfully to not only generate leads, but to generate much better quality leads uh, and almost in a way filter out those who can't really afford them or, or aren't going to be a good fit uh, for them and their business. So it's kind of been a way to to allow them to, to have this sort of self-diagnostic where somebody fills it in and they get to say, yes, I am, I am sort of a good fit and let's, let's talk sort of mm-hmm. thing. So even if you're just looking for high quality leads that might be able to afford you, maybe you charge a lot more, um, then a quiz can also be for you, which is, which is really cool. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm qualifying leads that that's um, another really important part of the process because you, you really want to focus on those ones who are a fit for your programs and what you do. So yeah, fant- that, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So let's look at the, the next slide, which is really uh, where I want to spend most of this session on, uh, which is taking you guys through the five key ingredients to create a quiz magnet. Now it's just called a quiz magnet because that's what our product is called. But um, it's ultimately, this is the the recipe that we've sort of found out over the last 12 or so months as to how to start going about creating your quiz. Now um, you can create a quiz in a number of different ways and I'll, I'll go to that in the next slide later. But Before you even think about uh, putting a quiz together, you really need to start thinking about these five really key sort of things um, that you need to sort of have sort of at least been thinking about or have some ideas around uh, that is really going to help you to to understand why you want a quiz and and that sort of stuff. So, uh, Shelley, if you don't mind, I'll go through each of these uh, one by one, but feel free to to jump in at any stage and... and, um, Button and ask questions about any of them. So, 
Uh, the first sort of step to creating your own quiz is step one here, know your target market. Now, this is incredibly important when it comes to anything to do with marketing online um, because the person that you're talking to who is basically on the other end of a computer screen or a mobile device, um, you want them to be sort of reading it and going, yes, this is, this is me. I, I want to keep reading this. I want to continue. Um, and you want to attract those who are your ideal clients. Um, so to have a, a firm understanding in your mind about your target market is so important. When it comes to a, a quiz, uh, basically any way that you, you write a question, your title, your answers, your call to actions, everything that goes around the quiz, nurturing them, um, the ad up front, everything is targeted and tailored to that target market that you have in mind. Um, so if you're a coach, maybe it's a particular age group um, who have just, for example, left corporate world and, and now you're sort of helping them with whatever it might be. Maybe it's you're going after people who have just been divorced if you're a divorce coach. If you're a life coach, um, you know, pick your sector. Um, there's a lot of marketing people, I know you, you do as well, Shelley, help people to, to help, um, help you to understand your target market mm -hmm. because it is such a, a critical need I, I think you would agree uh, absolutely Sally. absolutely absolutely so i can i can see what you're saying here it's like in order to be able to know what the quiz is that you're creating um i guess what questions to ask you've got to know who you're actually aiming it to yeah you know who do you want to answer that quiz basically yeah um, exactly who do you want to be, to be filling it in so that uh, when you get 20,000 people, you're not getting 20,000 people who you can never actually sell anything to or who can never become your clients. Uh, yeah. You want 20,000 people who are, you know, the, the right type of fit for you um, because we're all not, we, as much as like sometimes we think, oh, I have, um, I can sell to everyone and everyone. Uh, that's cool. But at the end of the day, we're all very much unique and different. And I think it, it just makes it so much easier if you can start to narrow that down a bit further and, and just in, in whatever way is comfortable to you, whether it's age, whether it's um, target market, like in terms of um, business category or whatever it might be, whatever that means to you, uh, if you can narrow it down just a little bit, uh, it will be really, really helpful to, to actually create the quiz in the first place. Now, point number two, uh, understand the purpose of your quiz. Now, this is, um, really all about trying to figure out why you want a quiz in the first place and what you're going to be doing with it. So, uh, in other words, kind of what I was speaking about earlier, uh, do you want like 20,000, 50, 60,000 plus leads? Do you want uh, lots of leads coming into your business really quickly? Um, or do you want it more as like a, like a sales tool where um, it's sort of filtering out people and sort of attracting those who really do fit your business and you're using it to basically talk about their scores with them. Um, so you've got to decide up front and there's no sort of right or wrong. It's really up to you in terms of what you want from that quiz. Are you wanting it to be a super duper sort of lead generation? Are you wanting it to really hone in the right type of people and just give you sort of maybe 10 or a hundred people um, into your list. So that's really important to get up front. Um, again, it comes back to, to how you're sort of positioning it, the sort of language that you're using throughout the um, the quiz, the type of questions you then use uh, can be very different if you're if you're using it as a sales tool versus a lead generation tool. Mm. Um, does that make sense, Charlie? That does. That does. Um, and you know, if you were kind of to give a, a coach listening to this, you know, some advice about what what the better route might be for them. Do you think, you know, if they're maybe newer to, to starting up the coaching business, that it might be better just to like, just use it more as a lead generation tool because they're maybe less clear about exactly who their audience, ideal audience is in terms of, you know, who they want to sell to. Um, and do you think maybe if someone is a little bit further on with their business and they're, they're you know, more fully booked, actually they'd be better off kind of just getting those people who are a really good fit for them to work with. Is that kind of the way that you devise it normally? Yeah, I would. It, it really comes down to, I guess, what they're, what they're looking for um, in terms of 
their aspirations and like are you, are you just wanting to be a solo coach um, and just do what you love, which is coaching? Uh, and it's particularly if you're starting off um, and you've only got a few different leads here and there, then yes, absolutely. I think it, using it as a lead generation um, is, is probably the right way to go. Um, if you're an experienced coach and you've been in the business for, for a while, um, maybe you're already sort of out of time and um, you just want to start to pre-qualified people and I'd say the latter is, is very much true. Um, unless you are wanting to like start hiring like um, lots of different coaches to work under you and you're wanting to grow more of sort of a company, which is completely cool as well. In that case, maybe you do want to go down the, the lead generation sort of route as well. Um, so it's really, it just depends on what sort of comes down to, to each individual, I guess, as well. Mm. And I've got another kind of question around this, which is, I guess you could actually just do it as lead generation, get a lot of people to um, do your quiz. And then, of course, the way they answer the questions is going to give you that information anyway. And you can then pick who you follow up with. And yeah, absolutely right. And I mean, we've had a lot of coaches do exactly that. And for those that um, they're not sort of ready to, to see one on one, um, they've built like a membership program or a, an okay. online course. So they've led all these, uh, all these other people who, who aren't quite qualified enough or can't maybe can't afford them or maybe they just don't want to do one on one training or coaching anymore. Um, so instead, they're using the sort of quiz to lead people into like an online course um, or whatever it might be. And that's been uh, brilliant to see as well, um, the high conversion rates for that. So. Fab, that sounds yeah. great. <laughs> it's pretty wow. cool. Um, the next part here, which is kind of, it's kind of more of the fun part, I, I think. <laughs> this is um, the topic and title. And, and this is really all about what your clients want to score themselves on. Now that's a really important sort of question to ask yourself because you really want to put yourself into their shoes in terms of, again, thinking your, your ideal target market, um, who are they and what would they want to score themselves on? Uh, what do they want to find out about uh, that you could test about? So you sort of start with that um, the front of your mind, uh, but then you sort of, sort of flip it in the in a sense when we start to get to questions and we start to introduce things that you do uniquely in your business so it's kind of a combination of what they want to score themselves on but also what do you uniquely offer uh, as a coach uh, that you really want to find out about now a couple of examples um, might be uh, for example the first day for life lady hers is all about um, how confident are you in a first aid situation so obviously she's talking to people who potentially want to, to learn first aid, um, but it's, it strikes a combination of, of practically telling you what it's all about, but also it's quite emotional in terms of how confident are you in a, in a first aid situation. So it's kind of got that combination of the two, uh, which is really important as well. Um, there's another couple that I've uh, just sort of looked up have done really well one is a marketing lady who's a sort of a marketing consultant hers is all about um her name's kelly teasdale hers is called test your business marketing superpowers so hers is all about uh helping you try and understand which areas of marketing are you doing really well in which areas you're doing really low in so at the end of the report you get to know well actually i'm really struggling in this this and this area uh, and it's quite useful as well um, there's another lady who, who specializes as a life coach. Um, and so she's uh, called uh, Women Embracing Change. And her sort of questionnaire is called, uh, how connected are you to your intuition, values, and life purpose? Mm -hmm. wow. Now, as a life coach, of course, that's amazing because we all read that, that, uh, that question right up front. We go, well, yeah. Um, I would like to know how sort of connected I am to, to myself or to my intuition and, and life purpose. Um, and the beauty of that is if you read that straight away, if you read that question, you go, oh, I don't really care. <laughs> well, it's not really for me. Then probably getting her as a life coach to help you probably isn't going to be a good fit. So right away, it's sort of that filter mechanism, mechanism right there, which is kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, those who, 
who do really fit and go, yeah, this is really interesting. They're going to be so much warmer leads and they're going to be so much more in tune with what you have to offer, uh, which is really cool as well. Wow. Um, and by the way, she's had, uh, I was looking the other day, um, just because this particular lady is a life coach. Um, she was telling me her, her results because she was quite proud of them. She, she's had over 45% conversion rate. Um, wow. Absolutely um, phenomenal and, and uh, yeah, very Fantastic. impressive. Fantastic. So that really is incredible. Cool. So, yeah, the, the topic and title is really um, the, the core to the quiz and it really helps you to shape what sort of questions you want to ask. Um, so I always recommend people to, to spend some time uh, literally brainstorming. I like to like write on a piece of paper a whole bunch of different potential titles and or things like that uh, and start brainstorming all the different ones that you might want to, to test people on. And again, just keep in mind those two points around um, keeping it emotional so that people really sort of emotionally want to connect to it and, and can get it. Um, and then the second point, which is more practical in terms of what are you actually quizzing them about. Um, yeah. Yeah. And once you get that sort of uh, the top of your head and you know the quiz title, it makes then going on to point number four, the questions and answers, so much easier. So here, um, we like to sort of recommend uh, between sort of seven to eight questions. Um, now, the way we do our quizzes compared to a lot of the other quizzes out there, and the way I would always recommend it. Um, it's based on a theory by a guy called Dan Sullivan uh, over in the States who come up with a scorecard. And basically what it means is you come up with your question or your statement and you have four different boxes um, of answers. So similar to what everyone's probably seen in one of those magazines where you get to pick which one is most relevant to you. Um, it, it's very similar to that. So you get to pick uh, out of four boxes, which one uh, for a particular question might be most relevant to you? So, for example, the question might be, say, say you're a leadership coach. It might be like, uh, you know, how, how do you feel um, in a group situation when you're trying to lead someone? Mm -hmm. uh, and so the four boxes, what we do is we separate them uh, for, so that the far left is where somebody might be really, really struggling um, and frustrated and the far right is where basically the holy grail, this is where they want to be. And this is ultimately where you can help them. Um, so when it comes to say the question around leadership, um, how do you feel in a leadership situation? The far left, the answer might be something around, I get really nervous. Uh, I don't really know what to say or how to lead or where it might be. And that's certainly what someone who's really struggling and it sort of builds up all the way through to the far right where it goes, you are an empowered leader and you, you always feel confident leading your troops sort of thing. And you get to everyone communicating well or whatever it might be. And ultimately that's what you sort of help people with. And that's, um, that's sort of, sort of what you teach in a way. Um, so people get to go through your, your questions and answers and they get to self-identify, well, actually, I'm quite frustrated. I'm quite struggling over here, 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 here. I'm doing well there. Okay, cool. So then um, the beauty of that is uh, when it comes to the next, next step, which is number five, which I'll get to in a second, people get to, um, well, you get to have a conversation um, about their score and you go say, well, actually, according to, to leadership, you've said that you, you, you're struggling a lot. Um, I can see there's other areas you're doing fine in, but let's talk about this one. Uh, what, would it, what would it mean like in, in your life or in your business and work uh, if you were to increase that uh, and get better in that? So it's, it be, suddenly becomes like a really good uh, sort of sales conversation in terms of talking about exactly where they are, which is also... Um, really, really helpful and, and uh, just get straight to the point really quickly, which is nice. So mm. sounds like you're giving them a lot of clarity um, from mm. the quiz. They're getting that clarity about where they're at and, mm. and maybe what they need to move forward. Yep. No, you're spot on. Absolutely right. And so when it comes to creating your own questions um, and answers, the, the best thing again, what I like to do is to start basically again, just brainstorming. Uh, a whole range of different questions. Um, sometimes it's easier to write like a topic, like leadership or, or money or, or fitness, whatever type of sort of coach or trainer you are. Um, 
and and start with that start with the questions start with the topics and then start to work out um, the far left and far right columns of each of the answers so the two extremes uh, we call them the far left we call it struggling the far right we call um, game changer or, or super successful and that's where ultimately you help them with so start with those two far columns um, if you want to do it this way um, I just find it a lot easier <laughs> um, so pick your questions so, so the first step is brainstorm uh, get at least seven or eight questions. You don't really want much more than that. Otherwise, it can sort of be a little bit too long. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got to remember this is a lead generation sort of tool. Um, so less is more in, in a lot of ways. So you want your questions to be quite short. You want your answers to be quite short, um, as short as possible. Um, pick your, your top sort of seven or eight questions or topics. Start filling in the left column, the far right column, and then you can fill in the middle columns. Um, and if you want to do that yourself, I mean, we have our, our tool that makes it a lot easier and people get to go step, step by step through this process. Uh, but if you do, if you're sitting there and you go, okay, I think I could just go do this myself, that's completely cool. Um, probably try to do it in like an Excel document or something like that. It'll make it a bit easier as well. Now, step number five, um, meaningful results and next steps. Um, this is really good to, to think about when, you, when you're creating your quiz um, yourself or, or however you get it created. Um, you really want to give somebody two things. The first one is the meaning of results, which is basically helping them understand what their score uh, means. So if they score quite low on a lot of them, what does that actually mean to them? Um, the way we break it up in our quizzes is we just have it literally in those sort of four columns again. Uh, if they end up in the far left column, they're really struggling. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, what's some tips that you can give them to help improve or whatever it might be? So that's the first part. The, the second part is the next steps, which is the, the call to action. Uh, it's, it's so important when it comes to anything online, um, any sort of online marketing or anything you do online, to lead people through to the next step. And so this is where you can start to have some fun in terms of, well, the type of people that I want um, are probably quite sort of frustrated, I'd say. So not quite struggling because they might be too far um, sort of struggling. I want people who are frustrated. So the people who are struggling, I'm going to give them some more free tools uh, for them to go and, and use next so I can sort of continue to educate them until they're ready. People who are frustrated, okay, they're the people I want to talk to. So I'm going to give them a link to set up a, a free discovery call or whatever it might be with yourself. Um, and then the other two columns, maybe one of them is a call again or maybe it's, hey, come and check out our, our mastermind group or you know, whatever it might be that you do. Um, you can sort of get creative and fun and, and sort of test it over time as well. Um, I think it's really important. Uh, any, does that make sense? Any questions there, Shelly, or for anyone else who's listening, if you have any questions on the, the five key ingredients? Yeah, so I mean, from, I, I mean, I'm looking at the last um, point on number five, the meaningful results, and I'm just thinking about all the different things you can do with that. Yep. So like, basically, this can really lead into your funnel. Um, and, you know, when, when they get the result, into, do they get like a score, basically, is that that they would get as a percentage? You know, yeah, generally speaking, I mean, with our quizzes, the way we create it is they get um, a couple of things. They get the, the score, so it's normally like a percentage. Um, mm -hmm. They make like 27% or 51%. Uh, and then it gives them some text about what that score means. It can go into some details, has a nice sort of graph so you can see, well, these are the seven areas that they're talking about. And actually, you can see on the graph, I'm really struggling in these three areas. Mm. Um, and it also gives them a, in our tool, it gives them a, like a PDF report as well. Wow. Sort of details, which is pretty cool. That's so. cool. And so like <laughs> basically you could then funnel, like you said, you could funnel the people who are struggling onto a call with you or you could funnel them onto a webinar. Yeah. Um, so you could actually then have them go to like something else that's going to then deepen their trust and they mm. you know give them basically a webinar that will help them understand what what they need to do in order to overcome their problem exactly right yeah. yeah you can really have some fun with uh with 
how you want to lead people uh, next. I've seen, obviously, with, with those, and, and by the way, the the ideal sort of client that we've saw that we've sort of seen so far in, in all of the the data um, of all the different quizzes that we've done, it really is those people, generally speaking, in that second column who are sort of frustrated. Um, that go on to, to becoming your best sort of clients the quickest. Uh, it's not to say that the others don't, but um, just as an average, that seems, seems mm. to be the way, uh, yeah. which is really cool to know because then that way um, those type of people you might want to put a bit more energy into and, and making sure that they get nurtured a bit more. Uh, and the others, you can, like you said, you can get into a webinar, you can send through to some more free resources or whatever it might be. Um, I've seen uh, a couple of people do it where the people who are to the far right, who are actually doing really, really well, um, who potentially might not quite be your, your ideal client because um, if you're doing really, really well in everything already, um, they might not want to sort of hire you to help them with anything. Um, but what I've seen for those few people that sort of end up in that category um, is offering them like, oh, we'd, it looks like you're doing really well. We would love to interview you. Um, and sort of put you out to our audience and let them all know uh, what you're doing and how you're doing it. So it can um, have that effect as well, which is cool. That's great. That's great. And I'm actually thinking, do you know, even if people are doing really well, you can always find an offer for them. Mm. So in, in my industry, if, so, if you've got a coach who's doing really well, the next step is like how they can put sort of systems in place and continue to scale the business. Yeah, exactly. So there's, there's always, you know, there's always, you know, maybe there's a higher end mastermind that you can offer them or yeah. there's yeah. always something. So, um, yeah, I mean, actually sometimes you, you need the clients who aren't just completely struggling in order to have the ones who can afford to work with you as well. Mm. So, yep. um, yeah, this sounds great. So really good tool having a quiz for not only increasing your lead generation, but then qualifying your leads into different groups, you mm. know, and then being able to give you a way of then actually continuing your marketing to them um, and segmenting your marketing so that you then send specific information to each of those groups. So you're, you're absolutely developing a lot of trust there because you're making sure that you're talking to the audience um, about them, mm. you know, and you're really able to then start offering the right kind of information to that person as opposed to the sort of approach that most of us take with our marketing where we just put the same information out to everyone yeah. <laughs> and hope that it lands somewhere yeah. which is a bit kind of haphazard and just just hoping <laughs> um so so this sounds like a really useful really useful tool no it, it is and we've seen it work um again and again particularly for coaches uh like i said it's it's so often hard to, to explain what you do and to warm people up in the right way and do it in a, in a way that's simple uh, and isn't sort of overly complicated and um, sort of does your head in more than it's worth. Um, mm. So, yeah, we really, really try to, to aim at keeping it as simple as possible. Now, the before I go on to the next slide, um, the bonus one here is, is understanding um, how you will promote it. Now, this is... Um, a nice little thing just to think about when you are creating your quiz in terms of what sort of marketing channels you want to, to use the quiz on. Now, we've seen people, uh, obviously, like I said earlier, using on, on Facebook and Facebook ads and get some really sort of um, some really amazing returns on investment there. Uh, but we've seen other people just literally uh, use it when they are in networking events and, and actually physically with someone and they're like, hey, uh, here's my business card, you know, check out this quiz that we've just got on our website. Um, it will be wow. like a diagnostic for, for how you're doing. Um, so if you want to talk, talk to me, fill that in first. And it'll give you a better idea of what we do. Uh, and then you can see if you're excited by it or not. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, it's a, a huge different uh, a range of ways that you can promote the quiz. Um, on LinkedIn is a really good way. Uh, obviously, on your website, anyone visiting that, have a big button going through to it. Uh, all sorts of different things that you can do. Um, yeah, so. Fantastic. Yeah, pretty cool. Now, normally, um, obviously, sort of generating all this is was all well and good and, and trying to understand uh, how to create it is really crucial in terms of getting your head around creating that content and things like that. 
Um, the next slide here is basically, <laughs> it's just showing the current sort of ways um, that people will tend to create a quiz uh, or have in the past. Um, so there's sort of two ways to, to try to do it. Um, one, and I completely encourage those who, who want to try this um, and have the technical skills, absolutely go ahead uh, and give it a go. You can do it yourself if you use something like Google Forms, uh, which you can do it for free. Uh, it's not gonna give you some of these robust sort of uh, um, things that we we're talking about, but it might give you a good sort of starting point. Uh, another thing is Typeform, um, and you, you probably want to get their pro version because it actually has some uh, half decent features that's um, that's available to you as well if you want to try and drop and drag and, and create it yourself. Um, or traditionally, the other option was always to hire someone, uh, like our agency in the past, uh, where we would have charged thousands um, to create these quizzes. Um, and a, a, one of the issues, though, with off that. Uh, people quite often tell me uh, when it comes to hiring like an agency is the fact that you still need to collate the content for them and that can also be quite difficult. Um, so Shelley, if you don't mind, I'll just introduce um, quickly and then we'll, we'll uh, go to questions uh, all about what we sort of offer for those who are, are listening today, which is really cool in terms of um, what we can sort of help you with uh, if you're wanting to create your own quiz. Uh, and there's a really special offer, thanks to, to yourself, Shelley, for everyone uh, listening today. Uh, basically what we have, um, because we're specialized now in quizzes, we've been able to really sort of democratize our own product um, over the past 12 months and really bring it down um, in terms of our, our quiz magnet offer. Um, so what we include, with our own offer is the uh, what we call a quiz content builder. Uh, and that takes you through step by step, literally every single step uh, that we talked about today and a lot more um, in like a questionnaire sort of form and you fill it in over time so you can start it, you can stop it, you can come back to it later. Uh, and you start to, to generate the content that you're wanting to do in terms of these questions and it prompts you with, with videos and lots of different examples. Um, and it's a really, really, really easy way to, to start creating your content. Uh, we then offer live workshops uh, that go alongside it. So if you want to join one of our live workshops, we literally go through Content Builder Live so you can ask questions uh, as we go along. Um, each quiz that we then do, we then take your content and we put it into a bespoke design. So we actually um, design your quiz for you. We add in your logo, we add in your colors, um, all of your content in terms of call to actions. We make sure that the, the call to actions, as we call smart call to actions, the PDF reports look absolutely beautiful. Um, they're all connected up to your CRM. If you have one, uh, either now or in the future, if you have a mailing list like uh, MailChimp or whatever it might be, uh, we take care of all that uh, technical complexity as well. Uh, we then give you access to your own quiz entry portal, which is pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice way to see all the quizzes um, that have been filled out and you get to see all the details of the people. Um, you can sort them by their results, things like that. Uh, and then finally, as a bonus uh, that we've just done sort of recently, we have the what we call a Quiz Masters Club where we've interviewed people like Emma Hammett, who I've talked about earlier, uh, who's now got over 20,000 leads using her quiz. And we go through uh, with her and she completely opens up very transparently, which has been uh, amazing. Uh, and she shows exactly what she did in terms of her Facebook ad, uh, exactly how she created it. Um, and by the way, she literally only had one ad uh, and some very sort of basic text onto it. Um, and she, she shares um, her results. She shares exactly how she did that so you can do exactly the same sort of thing. Uh, and there's a few other people talking about LinkedIn and, and um, how to nurture people in their sales funnel, how to, to use the quiz uh, in a sales meeting and how to sort of get the best conversation out of it and things like that. Now, uh, normally what we've been doing is we have been selling these for £647 uh, for the setup and then £15 a month, uh, as you can see there. Uh, and that £15 a month is really for um, the hosting, the unlimited sort of entries that you get, your own, own online portal, uh, but it also includes unlimited support. So if you want something changed in the future, you want to change your logo, you want to change the question here or there, um, we're always here to help you as well and guide you through that. 
Now you can see, I mean, 647, um, that in itself, people always told us that that's incredibly low, uh, which is what we like to hear. Uh, but for literally until Sunday night, um, thanks to Shelly and Client Nectar, uh, we're giving away at a really special price of only 347 pounds for the setup, uh, which is a massive 300 pounds off. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully everyone's pretty happy with you there, Shelly. And, um, yeah, the other big bonus is uh, as of Monday, the 1st of April, um, as a company, we have to start uh, declaring VAT. So you've got until then to, to get this offer in uh, as well, um, because from uh, Monday, it'll be 6.47 uh, plus VAT. But for those who get in earlier, um, even your 15 pounds a month, everything's going to be locked in, the price will be locked in. Uh, without VAT on top. So you can, if you're not VAT registered, you'll save yourself 20% there as well. Oh, I think that's a uh, yeah. that spill. And I have to just say, this is an amazing offer that Steve has given because um, actually, like, I, you know, we, we've been in conversation now for quite a while. And um, even at the 647 price, which um, it's a fantastic, absolutely fantastic service that you're getting. Um, and you know, to put this in context again, because this is so much why I wanted to bring Steve on to do this webinar um, and you know, to share this information with you. you know, when I, I was doing a lot of Facebook ads, I would be spending 5,000 pounds a month on my Facebook ads to get probably in the region of 500 new email addresses. Um, and what you're looking at here is something, a tool that can give you email addresses for like 40p, um, you know, on Facebook ads. So it, this is, this is just incredible. Like, the, you know, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's really an incredible offer. Um, but, but also in terms of building your business and if, you know, if, like all of us, we need a way of building our email list fast. This means of doing that is just such a strong way of doing that right now. Um, yeah, and you know, and how, looking at the other approaches to building your email list, they're either really manual and they're going to take a lot of time, or they're much more expensive. So, um, yeah, I just want to say, if you're interested in getting a quiz, I would highly recommend you you go ahead with this um and i can totally 100 percent vouch for steve because he's already made quizzes for people that i've referred on to him at the higher price <laughs> 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 only a few months ago so we're not going to tell them about that are we steve we're going to keep no, quiet right. about the fact that you I'm, give this i'm sure they won't i'm sure tonight. they won't mind it at all though because <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they love their quizzes so i think they're, they're happy either way <laughs> absolutely absolutely so um yeah, I mean, I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic for, you know, all the coaches that are on my list to be able to use for, for their businesses. Um, and just, I think it might be useful also for them to hear again a little bit more about the kind of results yeah. that coaches have been getting because, you know, I, I know you actually um, did the quiz for the coaching academy as well, which is a lot of, a lot of my life coaches will have qualified <laughs> there yep. so yep. so tell me i mean i don't know if it's okay for you to share a bit about their results but yeah yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah the coaching academy really really nice guys to work with um and they've been using it now for a little while probably say six months or so but we've really gone into it the last couple of months really started advertising on it um so they've had about i think last time i checked it was about 1800 people uh, filling their quiz and this is a really a really cool quiz it's, it's literally the question is um, are you ready to become a life coach um, wow. and it goes through questions about like you know are you basically ready and wanting to to join one of their courses and, and become a life coach professionally uh, and so they then lead people into their their free sort of two-day course that they offer um, for life coaches which I know is really valuable yeah, um, but they've reported back to me and you know, have already said that the people who have filled in the quiz first uh, and then gone on to their their free day, so the seminar that they hold, um, they I don't they haven't given an exact percentage, so it's very much um, sort of a just a conversational sort of feedback. But they basically said that the people were um, so so much sort of more likely and warmer 
uh, and easier to convert into um, sort of buying their course because they'd already fill in a quiz, they'd already self-identified that they do want to become a life coach. So they're sort of, sort of already halfway there, uh, mm. which has been really cool. And they've had, um, yeah, I think it's been about like 32, 33% uh, sort of conversion rate uh, as in opt-in opt -in rate um, on the quiz itself. Uh, so yeah, it's been pretty cool. Really, very nice. Amazing. Um, yeah. So I just asked if anyone is interested, uh, of course, uh, do feel free to use the, was it the Q and A or the, the chat box, either one, uh, to ask myself or, or Shelly any questions either about, either about the offer or about just quizzes in general. Um, feel free to use that. But if you're interested in getting this, uh, this offer, which is strictly limited until Sunday night at midnight, um, it will end and we will never do this again. Um, go to www.smadigital.co.uk forward slash Shally. Uh, the link is in the, the Zoom chat window uh, for those who are listening live. Uh, and Shelly, I'm sure those who are on the replay will get the yes. link in their email somewhere. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, you can go to smadigital.co.uk forward slash Shelly uh, and you can follow the links to, to sign up. Um, Fab, fab, great. Well, I'm sure that there are going to be quite a few people wanting to sign up for this. Um, <laughs> and of course, it's great to get in there before you get registered for that. <laughs> yeah, well. that's right. Um, so, and just, yeah, to reiterate, this is only going to be available until Sunday at midnight. Yep. So I have got some reminder emails set up to go out, but I would encourage you if it's something you want to do to just go ahead and um, book it tonight. Mm -hmm. And that way you'll be, you'll be guaranteed. And if, you know, if someone is say thinking, you know, I'd really like to do this, but I just don't know what the topic and title should yep. be. You know, is there any kind of support that you can give them around that to help them with? A hundred percent. So yeah, if you, if you think you might be struggling, uh, a few different things that we that we sort of offer. One is uh, when you when you sign up, you'll get instant access to our quiz content builder, and there's some pretty sort of in-depth videos if you want to watch them as you go through that will help you uh, bring out that ideal title that's probably sitting in your mind somewhere and you just haven't quite caught it yet. Um, and if you're still a bit stuck there, uh, we do offer these uh, live workshops uh, where you can come along to and you can ask us live. Uh, if you're really, really struggling, we then offer, of course, one-to-one -one support, um, absolutely free and included uh, for wow. those who just want to have a bit of a chat about, you know, I'm thinking about this, this, or this. Uh, what would you guys recommend? We, yeah, we really try to, to, to get clarity uh, on their quiz because, um, yeah, we, we want everyone to, to have a really, really successful quiz um, and to get all the leads out of it that they, that they can. Fantastic, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I know you have done quizzes for quite a few coaches, um, as you've been saying, and, you know, different disciplines of coaches as well. So, you know, this is going to yep. work whatever discipline of coach you are. There is mm -hmm. a quiz that you can create. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a couple of a couple of sort of frequent questions that I often get asked too. Um, one is like, what if I don't have time to do it now? Um, mm -hmm. As coaches, of course, you um, you want to just be continuing to do your, your coaching, and if you're really busy, that's fantastic. Um, so if you're thinking, oh, this, I would love to do a quiz, but I don't have time right now. Um, if you want. Uh, Feel free, of course, to, to sign up later. But if, to, if you want to get this deal, I'd recommend to, to sign up now. Uh, and we can always, um, if, you, if you can't sort of even start to get your head around it in terms of developing your quiz content or your heading or title, uh, just let us know and we can put a pause uh, on this uh, monthly sort of fee uh, right away for you until you are ready. So at least that way you've locked in this, this setup uh, at the low price because um, it's going to sort of repeat itself. Um, particularly without VAT uh, and yeah we, we'll just resume it whenever you are ready uh, and by the way that 15 pounds a month um, is no locking contract or anything like that it's literally um, cancel whenever you wish no hard feelings um, put a pause on whenever you wish again no hard feelings um, so it's very very flexible amazing um, Amazing. If Great. you want, uh, if you want more than one quiz, some people also ask that. Um, 
it uh, because of the, the low price that we've had to do this at uh, the, the special rate uh, it is 347 per quiz um, but the additional monthly fee so 15 pounds a month goes down to only five pounds a month per extra quiz uh, you won't be able to sign up on the page to get that so uh, if you go to that web page there's an online chat in the bottom right hand corner um, and you'll be able to ask us um, about how you can get uh, access to two or more quizzes if that's something that's of interest to you as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, yeah. yeah, so if people have questions, that's the best place for them to go is actually just to use the online chat and and contact you that way. Yeah, you can contact us that way. Um, you can email myself directly, steve, S-T-E-V at smadigital.co.uk as well. Um, very happy to share my email with everyone. Um, but yeah, also if you're, of course, online right now, if you have any questions, burning questions, or um, feel free to ask away. Any any further questions from yourself, Shelley, at this point? Yeah, I think you've answered most of my questions. <laughs> so I'm going to just throw it out to, to to our lovely audience here, mm. our lovely attendees, and just see, you know, does anyone have any questions? Do you, do you want to ask questions about, you know, a quiz that you're thinking of doing for, for your own business or... Yeah, anything that's come up for you as you've been listening to what Steve's been saying. Mm, yeah, absolutely. I see Catherine said uh, such in-depth of how quiz can help to generate cool data and leads. <laughs> um, it, it definitely can generate cool data. So you're spot on there, Catherine. Um, Fab. And Kevin's just asking a question. Is the quiz compatible with Infusionsoft? Uh, good question. So... Yes, it is, is the quick answer. Um, basically, when it comes to what we are compatible with, uh, we can hook up to pretty much any sort of CRM or mailing list that you might have. So anything from Infusionsoft through to Active Campaign, through to uh, MailChimp, um, you name it, uh, we've probably connected it to it already. Um, yeah, so we can do all of that. And uh, that reminds me that, the, the actual quiz itself, um, it can be embedded on your website as well. But if you don't have a website, uh, that's okay because it can also sort of just run standalone um, through sort of our service and you can still send to people through to that on social media or, or link that on, on your email yeah. or however you do it. So, Wow. Um, so, th I mean, that's amazing. So, like, if someone is just starting a business... Yep. Um, they can actually take this up and actually have an email list before they've even got the business off the ground. I yep, mean, exactly yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So Catherine is also asking, can the quiz be in different languages? Oh, that's a good that's question. A, that's a good question, Catherine. I don't actually had that yet. Um, it depends probably on the language. Uh, but because we're importing it into the quiz, Short answer is probably maybe. Um, yes, it, it can technically. Um, I know it can. We just haven't done it yet. Um, so you'd probably have to bear with us and, and let us um, spend a little bit longer than usual to get that working. Uh, but um, I'm sure it would be fine. The only languages that we might have difficulty with is those that go from right to left. Um, just not sure, sure our system can cope with that. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you want to let us know, Catherine, what language or languages you're thinking, um, we can make that happen. The other option, of course, is uh, that's, that's probably if you're wanting to, to write the, um, the quiz in that language. Um, but, oh, it's Dean. Sorry, Dean. I've been calling, calling Dean, Catherine. Uh, yeah, so if you wanted to write it, then that's probably cool. Uh, we could try to use like Google Translate or something, but it's not always ideal. Um, Chinese, yeah, no, it'd be, be fun to try that, Dean. Um, yeah, so I, it, technically I know it can work, uh, but again, we just have to um, just spend a little bit more time on it to, uh, to get it working, but it'd be cool. It'd be, we, would, we would be up for that. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Great, so any other questions from anyone? Oh, look, they're, ca they're coming in thick and fast now. <laughs> Kevin's asking, can we use the quiz software in an enterprise environment? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And it, it has been used in an enterprise environment uh, in a number of different ways. Um, we had, had uh, one guy who sort of created the quiz, but then just 
ended up printing it off and, and literally handed it in on paper to some some of the top executives uh, ended up scoring meetings that way um, wow. but in terms of um, yeah enterprise I, I mean the the software itself is very very stable uh, and can work in a number of different sort of ways and different user levels and things like that um, I'd say we don't we don't um, create the software from scratch as an enterprise piece of software because it is very much more aimed at, a, at either a solo coach or a small business um, coaching sort of company. Uh, but yeah, we've seen it work in enterprises uh, as well. Fab. Fab. Great. Fantastic. So, anyone else wow. have any more questions? Yeah, you've, you've, you can take <laughs> it there for a moment, Steve. <laughs> Let's just see, see if anyone has any more questions. No worries, absolutely. Um, okay. It looks like that's that. Well, I think we might, might be have, a wrap. Yeah, we <laughs> might have, we might have reached the, the the last on the questions front. Um, so just want to just again just say to you, if you want to take up this offer, then go ahead and go across to. Um, the website, isn't it? We haven't got the link actually on there, but it's in the chat box. So it's smadigital.co.uk forward slash Shelley. And there's all the information is on that page as well, isn't it? So it looks yeah. like we have another question just come through. Can we use it if there are five salespeople in the team? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, each, each salesperson can have a unique uh, identifier if they wish. Um, and so that's, that's very much possible, definitely. Perfect. Perfect. Great. So it's the real you, good scope to this, you know, in terms of how it can work. It's from, you know, solopreneurs to bigger operations. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, fantastic. Good. Well, Shelley, yeah. thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I can see there's uh, even from these questions and I can see there's uh, quite a few people who have ended up on our website um, asking us questions on there apparently. Um, so yeah, thank you wonderful that's wonderful and melanie's just saying thank you for sharing the information and i want to just second that and just say thank you so much steve for coming on and um doing this guest webinar for my audience it's um it's definitely something that i i knew was going to be really important for them to hear mm. um and because you know really to be honest right now this is this is the best way to generate leads on facebook is when yeah. It's like, you know, there, this is, this is literally hands down the best way and the cheapest way. So, yeah. you know, I'm so glad that you came on and also really grateful for the special offer that you've given as well, because that is just amazing. Um, and it just makes it more possible for, mm. you know, some of my list to actually be able to, to take this up. Yep. Um, no. you know and and help grow their business yep. so more thanks for coming from stephanie as well she's saying thank you very much it's been very interesting um so yeah thank you to everyone who joined us today and to anyone who's watching the replay as well um and just be aware that the special offer is just available till till this sunday at midnight so if you are interested go ahead and um you know get onto that page and take it up but Big thank you to you, Steve, um, for being here. Um, I hope that I will bring you back at some point. We'll do an interview into my Facebook group um, and do a little bit more on quizzes. Um, so, yeah. Sounds great. No, thank you, Shelley. It's been a lot of fun. And yeah, hopefully that everyone's got uh, at least something of value out of today. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Always good fun. Wonderful. Okay, well, I think we're going to end there. Um, and, you know, let Steve have a rest now. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, thank you to everyone who attended. And um, just have a great rest of your day and good luck with your business over the coming weeks. Absolutely. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, everyone.